Hello, happy stampers. This is Kate with Kate's Paper Creations. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Washington State, and I welcome you to my hashtag simple stamping video and blog, where I make beautiful cards simply made. So, simply beautiful cards simply made. So let me show you what I'm going to be making today. As I do try to do when I'm making a simple card, is I will just show you the simple card and tell you how I made it and then I'll do a step up card and you can watch how I stepped it up. So this is the version of the card I made. It's the simple version, I should say. It uses the um, hand-pinned designer series papers and the whisper white, there I go again, basic white thick base card that's just cut and fold into a an A2 greeting card. This first strip is three quarters of an inch wide, second strip is seven eighths, third strip is one inch, and they're all five and a half inches long. So they go the full length of the card. This particular piece is two by four. Then this um, sentiment tag came from Hippo and Friends dies, and I stamped it with evening evergreen so it showed up really well. And that is the card. It's just that simple. So stamps, ink, and paper. So now let me show you the stepped up version. It's not a lot different, just a little bit different, but let's get started. Get some things out of my way here so I can get to what I need to get to. Okay, so I started with the same a2 greeting card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter to make a side fold greeting card. Then I took a piece of regular basic white and I am going to emboss it with the new time worn, time worn type embossing folder. And we will emboss that, put that in here. And the sandwich for embossing the three-dimensional embossing folders is base plate, folder with the seam going in first, and plate number four. So it will go in just like that. We'll run that through. I'll be right back with that. And there it is. Makes a very lovely background. And there are words in this and you will want to make sure that they are right side up. Um, there, you can tell a few of them are in there so it'll be easy to tell. I'm going to attach this um, to the front of the card but before I do that I'm going to build the rest of it. So because um, I want to wrap that ribbon around. So then I cut these because I cut this a little bit shorter. This is four by five and a quarter. So it's got that eighth inch border all the way around. So I'm going to, um, I same width on all of these three pieces, um, three quarters, um, seven eighths and one, but they're now five and a quarter inches long instead of five and a half. And I'm going to attach them in the same way, just using stamp and seal. We'll get some on this end. I didn't get some on this end very well. And I'm leaving just a small gap between the side of the card. I'll stick that one down. I don't think it matters which way those scallops go. On my first card they go the same way, but I'll oh, get the right one here. Now you could cut these strips in any width you'd want, obviously. Um, and I leave a little bit, like about an eighth of an inch between each of the pieces here. And then this last one. Same thing, just a little bit of a gap between each of them. 
Okay, like that. Then I'm going to attach this over the whole thing like this. Again, it's just flat. So it's still a pretty simple card and yet it's stepped up just enough to give it just a little more oomph, <laughs> I guess you'd say. But I think they're both very, very pretty. And so this piece is, again, it's four by two now instead of four and a quarter. Okay, now I want to add that ribbon and I need a piece it's four inches wide so I'm thinking I need a piece that's oh I'm gonna go five and a half because I want to have room to wrap it around the back so I'm gonna go with five and a half inches Hear me scooting around because I forgot to cut my ribbon okay then I'm going to put this I'm going to put adhesive on the back of this Just like this and around to the edges because then it stays in place the way I want it and I'll just use one of those lines to kind of tell now you could center it or put it off center a little bit I don't know that it matters I think I'm just gonna go right here and use the grid of the DSP to tell me where to put it wrap those around the back and there's that piece now this is all going to get attached to the front with stamp and seal you could raise this up it would look lovely if you wanted to totally a choice okay then we're going to put this down with that eighth inch border go and then this is going to get stamped with the sentiment and the sentiment came from inspired words I think inspired words or inspired thought there it is inspired thought and we'll stamp it with the evening evergreen thinking of you on your special day you know that phrase works great for saying happy birthday it could also say um, graduation it could also even be a wedding depending on what you wanted to do okay this is going to go on with dimensionals and we'll put four dimensionals on there just like that get those papers out of the way and I'm going to center that over the ribbon and then I cut these three little um, yellow flowers we're using the dies from um, poinsettia petals poinsettia dies and I am going to stick those on to the card here with glue dots and I'm just going to put the glue dot where I want the flower to be and then stick the flower to the glue dot there's that one let's put another one right here like that it's okay if they overlap a little bit looks kind of cute and we'll put the last one right down here there's that part and then because I do like a little bit of bling I am also adding some in color jewels and we'll add the um, bumblebee jewels to the middle of each of those flowers just like that that's going to cover up that center where the sticky shows through from the glue dot and it'll just help that rhinestone stick a little bit better even and there's a little bit of bling so that is today's stepped up version of the simply made card so here they are side by side stepped up and simple 
and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to have you shop with me and the link to the, my store is in the description below. As I said, I'm also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and if you're interested in Stampin' Up! products and becoming a demonstrator, then by all means text me or message me and my email is in my um, profile and you can get a hold of me and I'd be glad to help you with that as well. Thanks again for stopping by.